Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. <coughs> Sorry, it's Lori. I'm starting the vlog tonight. Ugh, I've been really sick. Um, that's why there was really no videos last week, except for a couple. <coughs> I started getting sick on Monday. Um, on Sunday, my co-workers were over and we made the gnomes and um, one of my co-workers little boy was sick and I probably picked up whatever he had. No biggie. Um, but I have been feeling great. It's food time. Let's see if... This is Alex. I know. He acts like he hasn't eaten in a week. It's been like two hours. One second. Here, Deb. So I'm feeding the boys, cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. I am straight up in my pajamas. Sure am. Uh, making some tea and I'm gonna sit down and do some cross stitch. I got my mug out. That is my brother, my oldest brother Jay, my cousin Debbie and myself. And me and my cousin Debbie and me and my cousin Debbie. We ride every year in Pelotonia. You're gonna hear about this because I just registered for this year. Um, it's a bike ride here in Columbus. It's a one day or two day, depending how many miles you ride. I typically do 45. Um, last year I did 25 because of my shoulder surgery. Um, yeah, so we raise money for cancer for the James Hospital here in Columbus. I think last year we as riders we raised over 23 million dollars 100 percent of every dollar i personally raise goes to cancer research so it's a really pretty awesome creamer pretty awesome um thing you know to help and it, the money goes to research it goes to funding uh scholarships for the fellows oh i think my my cream froze. Can you use frozen cream? I guess so. Well, that's weird. Um, yeah, so they use a lot, a lot of good things. It's a grassroots effort. Yeah, and my company is a major sponsor, so I ride every year. And this is my tenth year, tenth year riding. And my goal is to hit five thousand dollars. Um, I'm going to be doing some giveaways, kind of maybe try to raise some money. We'll see, but I wanted to share that with you. Uh, I'm going to rest here tonight, rest my voice, rest my chest. It's aching. It's cold out. And I'm going to make some tea, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Saturday morning. It's 9.30. <coughs> I'm just at Starbucks getting my coffee. My keto coffee drink of the day is a blonde roast with, and it's lighter. Just so you know, if you don't like Starbucks because it's bitter or strong, go with the blonde roast. Uh, most stores brew that in the morning. Target and other stores like that are pour over only and that takes a little longer. So just so you know. But anyway, blonde roast. With sugar-free can't pull out because the lady next to me is putting her baby in and I gotta be careful. I'm um, sorry. It's a venti blonde with heavy whipping cream and sugar-free vanilla. Syrup this morning. Got my cough drops and my cold medicine and for breakfast I have some cheese and salami things because I'm headed to get my taxes done. Now my GPS says, oh, I can pull out now. My GPS says I will be there at 10 o'clock, but my appointment's not until 10.30, so we're going to run into Target real quick, like super quick. I am just looking, ooh, like looking for these metal numbers. I want them for my address. And I got one number, but I'm short three numbers. So I'm headed in for that, and I want to see what they have for spring items. Real quick, 
and then I need to get on the highway to get to do my taxes. Because apparently, and nobody talks about this on YouTube, which is bizarre to me, if you monetize your channel, and I am not giving tax advice by any stretch, but if you monetize your channel and you earn over $600, I think, yeah, they 1099 you, which is fine. I mean, it's taxable income. However, you're also self-employed, which means you have to pay into, here in the United States, you have to pay into Social Security, Medicare, and all that kind of ancillary taxes that your employer would pay into. So that's not something I'm comfortable doing, so I'm going to see my tax lady, who I happen to love dearly. She is a very close friend of my family, and she will help me out. But I had to do an exercise of going through all my bank statements because I didn't think I would hit the threshold this year, blah, blah, but I did. So just a little data. I was at the Dollar Tree 189 times last year. What? Yeah. So, I've got a spreadsheet of all my expenses and all of that there, Jazz, and we need to figure this out. So that's where I'm going today see what my tax situation looks like, if I have to pay, if I'm getting a refund. I mean, obviously we're doing all my taxes, but this is going to be a new twist to my taxes that I'm not used to. So we're doing that today, and then I'm not doing too much. Tomorrow I have to work all day. I have to work at the bank, and then I have to work my part-time job. That's dwindling down here. The season will be over shortly, and then over the summer, it's just concerts. There's not a whole lot that goes on. But I, you know, my day job is super busy. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. Running to Target really quick. I got a really big flip today, and then go get my taxes done, and then we'll see what we get into. I've been still kind of getting over this cold. I definitely sound worse than I feel today. But that's how we go. And I'm blessed and thankful that it was a quick cold. Started on Monday, just kind of feeling run down, tight chest. Tuesday was my worst day. Lies. Wednesday, I should have stayed home from work. I think this started on Tuesday be truthful here. Tuesday, my throat started, or my chest started feeling tight. I started feeling a cold. Wednesday, I really was sick and should have stayed home from work, but didn't. Thursday, felt better. Yesterday, felt a little better. Today, feeling a little better. And my GPS is telling me how to get back on the highway to go to my tax place. All right, I'm at Target. I will talk with y'all later. Maybe I'll show you real quick when I get, if I get anything. Hi, guys. I just got back from getting my taxes done. And the grocery store, I went to Aldi, I was at a sweetener. Now, normally I go to Costco and I get the Whole Earth sweetener packets. It's like 400 packets for $12, it's a really good deal. But I didn't feel like going to Costco today. Um, where my Costco is, this is this town place called Easton, it's in Columbus. And last time I was there, a couple weeks ago, last weekend actually, it was a nightmare. They had all the exits leaving east and closed, but like two. I don't know why, but it took me an hour to get out of the parking lot, and I am not dealing with that today. I don't feel well, we're not doing it. So, I went and got this, which is the same stuff. It's Erythritol Stevia blend, so it's the same product. I'm just rinsing out my cup. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I want to sit down for just a minute and rest because I'm feeling nothing. But I got my taxes done, so that was exciting today. And I just have one more tax that I have to do. I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but I live in a different county than I work. So I have to pay income tax 
in Franklin County, which is where I work, and I have to pay income tax in Fairfield County, which is where I live. I'm making some frothy. Well, I need some cinnamon. So I basically am having to pay two taxes for my income. She would have done my Pickerington, but it's just, it's easy, I'll do it. I know I have to pay because my work does not withhold income tax for both counties. They only do the county that I work in. So we took care of all those taxes, so I just have to handle my, where I live. All I'm doing is I put some sweetener and milk, or cream, and a little cinnamon in here, and I'm frothing it up. Almost like a whipped cream, but not quite. And then I brewed a cup of coffee. It's cinnamon coffee, hence the cinnamon. Pour it over, and it leaves a little foamy head on top. Mm. So good, guys, so good. Okay, so, excuse me, I dropped something. I went to Aldi and I got ground beef, I got some blueberries and peanut butter. I'm going to do taco salad this week, so I got some spring mix. I'm going to cook up like three pounds, I think this is. I don't know. Two and a half pounds of ground beef. And then I'm going to package it individual servings and throw it in my freezer. And I'll have plenty for this week and then some future weeks to come. But I'm going to make some taco seasoning and make it seasoned ground beef. And then I will bring lettuce, cheese, sour cream, some salsa, and ranch. And that'll be my lunch for the week. What, wow, buddy? Did you want to say hi? <laughs> Mr. Welly, did you say hi? <laughs> hey. Say hi. He smells the cream. He is a dairy cat. And yes, I know cats can become lactose intolerant. He, and I say this all the time. He has had a teaspoon of cream or milk every day for the whole of his life. He is not lactose intolerant. It doesn't bother him. And I, hi. And I have talked to the vet about it. And she says it's fine. Um, that he just have a little bit. And he just gets, I'll show you. Hi, buddy. I'm getting you. This is what he gets. All right, there you go. He can smell it, I swear, when I make my coffee. All right, so that's it. I'll show you my stitch in here in a minute where I'm at, um, but I have decided I'm starting a second channel. I just need to video my intro, and that second channel is gonna be called The Cambridge Way, and it's a play on my street name. And it's going to be knitting all my wooly needle art. So cross stitch, knitting, crochet, felting, anything like that will be over there. On this channel will be all my Dollar Tree hauls, any blogging that I do, and DIYs. So that's that. So I'll show you what I got. All right, guys, we're at the end of our night. Come on, Wellington. What are you doing? At the end of our night, I just got home from my part-time job, put my jammies on, I made some tea, got eggs boiling. Hi, buddy. Getting ready, I'm gonna work a little bit on my cross stitch. Um, I did start a second channel. It's called The Cambridge Way, and there is um, a link in the description box below. If you wanna come over and show some love over there, I would appreciate it. It's gonna be all about um, cross stitch knitting, my needle felting, crochet, that kind of stuff. I just don't think there's a place for it here. Hi, buddy. Mm. Having some tea. I'm tired, but I'm getting over my cold, which is night. Hi. Getting over my cold. Somebody thinks he's settling in. Yeah, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I have some footage at the end of the basketball game. The Buckeyes won. Um, they beat Maryland, which was a big deal. 
So I thought I would take a little video at the very end and show it to you. Uh, so yeah, so go ahead and like, subscribe, and I will chat with you guys later. Oh, I have a good DIY coming out for Easter with that big Easter egg I bought from the Dollar Tree. Actually, I think I have two. Yeah, there'll be two in one video. Two different ideas with the same egg. All right, everybody, you have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Crazy cat. Who say hi to the people? He said no. Oh, here you go. Who say hi to the people? I want to love you. Let me love you. He won't let me. <laughs> All right, everybody, you have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>